Hi, did you know that 70% of travelers regret their travel outfit after a flight? I don't want you to be one of the statistics. Today we're talking about travel fashion fails and how what you wear in an airplane can totally make or break your travel experience. Whether you're jetting off on a short trip or a long haul flight, the right outfit can keep you comfy and stylish. So let's explore what not to wear on an airplane. Number one is tight clothing. You want to be as comfortable as possible, so I suggest that you leave the tight clothes in your suitcase and wear something that is, you know, just skims over your body. Because if you are on like an eight or a nine hour overnight flight, I don't know about you, but I would not be comfortable in tight jeans for that length of time. So whenever I travel and I know that I'm going overseas and it's an overnight flight, or even a long flight really, if it's anything over say four hours, I wanna be in comfortable clothing. So nothing too baggy that you don't look stylish, but you know, something that just skims over your body and something that you're going to feel comfortable in and maybe you'll be lucky enough to doze off and get a few winks of sleep. Leave the high heels at home or in your checked bag. You want to make sure that you're wearing flat, comfortable shoes for a couple of reasons. Airports are big and airports are busy. And you know, your gate to catch your plane may be way at the opposite end of the airport whenever you come through security. So it's going to be much more comfortable, I think, that if you are in flat shoes, you can walk a little faster or run if you have to. But also for safety reasons, say there is an emergency and you have to evacuate quickly, you know, you're going to be much quicker wearing flat shoes and high heels. And if you tend to swell when you fly like I do, because you're jam packed in the airplane, there's not a lot of room, you know, you might not want to disturb your seatmate in case they're sleeping and you can't get up as often as you want to to stretch your legs, you're probably more prone to getting um, swelling. So I think it'd be much more comfortable to have just flat shoes and I myself prefer like just slip on loafers or slip on running shoes. Please don't decide to wear your jeans that have all the rivets and all the bling and things that are going to set off those metal detectors at the security line. There's nothing more frustrating than being stuck behind somebody that is wearing the most complicated outfit that they just keep setting off the bells and you're stuck behind them, you know, waiting for them to get through so that you can get to your gate. So maybe just wear something without any rivets or any bling or anything that might, you know, set off the uh, TSA security bells and just, you know, wear those after you're through security and on your vacation. And that leads me to belts. You know the belt has to come off. So what I always have my husband do is before we even get in the security line, take off your belt, empty your pockets, put everything in your carry-on where it's going to be secure. I always carry my passport through the, um, the security. I've never had an issue, but I know if you have a wallet in your pockets, they're going to ask you to remove that. So I always make sure that my husband's wallet, I'll either put it in my purse or I'll put it in, you know, my carry on bag where it is safe and secure. And whoever gets to the security line first can grab all of our stuff and keep an eye on things because those lines are busy. You know, somebody might just accidentally pick up your stuff or they may just pick up your stuff because you know, you're an easy target. So you always want to think about safety and you want to speed up as quickly as you can going through that security line so you can get your stuff and get to enjoying your vacation. You may want to avoid wearing an underwire bra also when you're going through security. I always, probably 95% of the time, I will get stopped and I'll have to get a pat down because I only wear underwire bras and they set, set off the alarm. So I know that going into it and I will even tell them. And you know, most of the time they'll just like give me a quick pat and wave me through. But uh, that's one thing to keep in mind. Or if say if you have like um, any metal in your body, like my husband had a hip replacement, so he's got a joint in his hip that will set it off. You know, you might have had a knee replacement. Um, if you have any body piercings, those are things that could set off the metal detector. So 
you know, maybe just give the screening person a heads up just so, um, you know, it might go a little quicker. They might patch it down before you go through the x-ray machine. I really recommend not wearing white pants when you fly for a number of reasons. Let's face it, the planes are such a quick turnaround time. The cleaners do the best that they can in the short amount of time that they are given, but there's no way those planes are getting a really deep cleaning. And you don't know what is on your seat before you get there. And it's really hard to change seats anymore on an airplane because it seems every flight I've been on in the last year, the planes are full. So you're packed in like sardines and say you get to your seat and somebody just spilled coffee on your seat or maybe there's chocolate or you know whatever else body fluids could be on there. I don't want to ruin my white pants. So I'll always wear like a dark color on my bottom, like a navy or a black. And say I do get a stain on it, it's not as noticeable as say if I was wearing white jeans. So leave your white clothes in your suitcase and enjoy them whenever you get to your destination. If you are enjoying my video, could you help me out and click that subscribe button? It's absolutely free and it would really help my channel to get noticed. And if you are a subscriber that's been here a while, I hope you know how much I love and appreciate you. And Buddy does too, that's him in the background. Also, leave the revealing clothing at home because you may be turned away at the gate. Airlines do have dress codes for passengers Oh, you can't just walk on a plane wearing your underwear and a bra. Trust me, I've seen some strange things in airports. So make sure that your outfit is appropriate because airlines do have dress codes for their passengers. And if you're wearing something too revealing, like maybe a bra and some really tight short shorts with your butt hanging out, you may get turned away. I have seen these outfits while I'm hanging out in airports, one of the things I like to do is just watch people and you want to make sure that you're respectful to your fellow passengers and also you want to make sure that you won't be turned away at the gate. I also suggest not to wear a lot of jewelry. I like to keep it simple. I'll just wear like a pair of studs and I might wear a necklace or I'll leave that packed in my travel jewelry case in my carry-on bag. Because jewelry, again, you know, it could set off the TSA bells when you're going through security. So you just want to, you know, have the whole process go smoothly and quickly for everyone. And personally anymore, I just take the basic amount of jewelry when I travel. I'll just take like a basic pair of either studs or hoop earrings and a necklace. I don't want to be bothered worrying about losing my jewelry. But also I find whenever I'm traveling and I'm walking a lot, again, if I'm in a really hot climate, I tend to retain water a bit. So chances are I'm probably not going to wear all that jewelry anyways. So I've traveled enough now that I really pare things down and yeah, I just leave most of my jewelry at home. Leave the open toe shoes, flip flops and sandals in your bag or at home. The floors in airplanes, especially the bathroom are disgusting. You don't want your skin touching any of that stuff that's on the floor cause you know, you have an idea of what it might be. Trust me, it's gross. You never, ever, ever want to go barefoot on an airplane, especially to the washroom. That is just, it's gross. And also, you don't want to be barefoot going through security because their floor is dirty. Like tens of thousands of people go through that line every day. So you can imagine the germs that are on the floor. Another important thing is you want to wear clothes that breathe. So look for natural fabrics like linen, wool, silk, and cotton. Stay away from polyester and fabrics that are man-made that don't breathe as easily because there are so many delays anymore whenever we travel. You know, it can get really hot sitting on the tarmac for an hour in the hot sun when it's like 40 Celsius out. And the same thing as in the winter time, whenever it's minus 30 out here in Canada and we're jetting off to Florida or to the Caribbean, you want to make sure that you're wearing clothes that are appropriate and also, you know, for body odor, because again, if you're in an economy and crammed in with some people that aren't your family or friends, you know, things can get a little uh, hot and you don't want some aromas starting to brew, if you know what I mean. So yeah, you want to make sure that your clothing is comfortable, your clothing can breathe so you don't get like body odor and, you know, get all sweaty and sticky. 
I recommend not wearing a jumpsuit. I love wearing a jumpsuit, but not when I fly because again, if you have to go into that bathroom, your jumpsuit's gonna end up on that really gross, dirty floor. So instead I would recommend maybe wearing some sort of uh, tapered leg pants, or if you like, you know, like uh, jogging pants or like my Spanx tapered pants that I love. That's what I wear when I fly now. Cause say if I do have to use the washroom, you know, my pants are still on my body. You just have to pull them down so you can go. Yeah, anything, like any flowy dresses, like maxi dresses, anything that might end up with the fabric on the floor while you're in the washroom, I would stay away from that. Just keep it simple when you're flying. Because anymore, I find the traveling day part of the trip is so exhausting. You almost need another vacation when you get home because just, you know, getting through security, getting through the airports can be a real hassle now. They're really busy. A lot of people are traveling. So just make things simple. I also recommend not wearing jeans because I don't know about you, but if I'm on an eight hour overnight flight, my jeans are not gonna be the most comfortable outfit for me. So I'll leave them at home. Whenever I fly, I like to wear my Spanx Air Essential tapered pants or I have like similar pants from Talbot's. I'll even link a few from uh, more budget friendly options for you. If that's something that you would like to look at, it'll be in the description box and in the pinned comment. But you want to be comfortable, but stylish. And whenever you can wear like a matching set, like just for example, um, this outfit that I'm wearing, my Spanx tapered pants, and then I have their pullover hoodie or even their quarter zip or some sort of a sweater or a, just some sort of maybe a jacket, like a Lululemon jacket or something. You're gonna look stylish, you're gonna be comfortable, and that's the most important thing when you fly. So I hope you enjoyed my tips. Be on the lookout because I'm working on a travel outfits video for long car rides and whenever you have to fly. So if you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button and wherever you're jetting off to, I hope that you have a wonderful vacation and thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate you. Bye.